Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw Green Arrow. And to those of you who support me on Patreon, you can head on over to patreon.com slash cartoon block and watch the full extended cut. And if you want access to my weekly sketches from my personal sketchbook, live Q&A drawing sessions, and some feedback on your own artwork, then become a patron. Just go on over to patreon.com slash cartoon block. So today we'll be using my little stubby red cool erase pencil here. And like we always do about this time, we're going to begin drawing a circle. This will be Oliver's head. Ollie Queen. Ollie is kind of a wimpy name. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut the circle in half. That will give us his eye line. Then cut it down vertically in half. And then we can go ahead and put in the center line for his face, which is curved. And then midway down from the eye line is the nose line. And midway down from there is the mouth line. So now we can go ahead back up at the top on his eye line and start putting in his eyes. It's kind of like a check mark. You want to begin with that. And then underneath it, kind of put in like a diamond trapezoidish kind of shape. Something that looks similar to this. Doesn't have to be exact, but get something like it. Almost like a, a triangle wannabe shape. What do you call that? A trapezoid? I'm not sure. <laughs> and then the same for his right eye, which is further away from us. So be sure to make that eye a definite triangle and make it smaller. And we want to start putting in some of his mask and draw it so where it fits the mold of the outer edge and contour of his face. And his nose line, going to kind of go across his nose bridge rather not his nose line and we want to slightly sketch in his mask and now I'm going to kind of hop down to his nose area which are his nose is the, these very simple lines nothing complex nothing hard about it just kind of make it darker down here and now going back up to his mask sketch it in lightly and make sure his mask does not pass that big vertical line that we drew earlier it should stay kind of on this right side of the sphere. Well, the right side of his face, the left side of our drawing. And I'm going to use my blue cool erase pencil to kind of darken in some of the lines that we have so far. So I can kind of decide which lines I want to keep, um, and which lines I want to let go. But the red pencil is good because it just lightly puts in the lines. So I can still draw as dark as I want to, but the overall drawing won't be too dark. And then I can use my blue pencil here or my HB drawing pencil to go ahead and darken in the lines that I want to keep. We're going to continue down here, fleshing out his mouth area. Now Oliver Queen has a beard, so... Let's go ahead and first put in his chin down here, kind of a superhero kind of chin. And make sure his jawline comes back towards the other side of this vertical line. Now we won't have to draw his mouth because he has his goatee and mustache. So we're going to kind of just lightly put in the fine hairs. And at the same time, I'm kind of putting in the basic shape of his goatee and just real lightly putting in the little strands and I'm going to erase his mouth line because with Oliver's um, goatee you really don't see his upper lip his uh, mustache area kind of drapes over the upper lip and just putting in the fine hairs Kind of just putting in one side of each, like, you know, bundle of hairs. And then now time for the part underneath his goatee chin. What do you call that hair? Does it even have a name? That patch of hair underneath the bottom lip? I'm not sure if it does have a name or not. Uh, we'll call it the bottom lip uh, part of the goatee. 
and kind of just make sure you got it quite right going around it and notice how I drew it below his chin now going to my HB pencil I want to go back now and kind of sketchy out some more of the, the lines and add in some rendering on the side of his face I put in his uh, nose wrinkle and gonna put in some more definition like his cheekbones kinda get that just right yeah and it doesn't have to be exact because a lot of his head will be covered up with the you know what his hood so that's a good thing about Oliver Queen you don't have to draw in his hair and things like that so he's not like Superman or somebody where you have to draw in his hairstyle it's easier to draw this hood and so as you can see just follow my guidelines here and kind of have the hood come just over his eyebrow line and eyes and it's gonna go back over the circle and then drape down and I want to put some kind of point at the top and the back of his hood and it's covering up a lot that we don't have to draw get this just right and okay and now we have it just kind of curved on the sides on the lower sides of the hood and then coming up and I think I made the tip a little bit too tall so I'm gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit and this is the purpose of sketching lightly because you don't want to put in definite lines that you may have to erase out later and I want to have this point at the back of the hood and coming down here I think I made that too wide yeah I'm gonna redo this area and yeah get the point down here and now I'm drawing more of the comic bookish kind of hood I'm not drawing the exact hood or costume that is in the Arrow TV show so now we're gonna start putting in more of his uniform we'll bring his hood down here it connects to his the breastplate part of his uniform and get that just right darken in more of the lines that I want to keep yeah looking a little bit better and kind of get some rendering on the side of his hood right here and then darken in more of his chest area I won't go in too much detail with his uniform in fact I'm drawing more of his body than I had anticipated but oh well when in Rome I'm in the drawing now so just have fun with it and now I'm gonna go ahead and put in his quiver that holds his arrows kind of just put in a general rectangle shape back here and just put enough arrows down there to indicate that that's what he is holding and now back to my HB drawing pencil let's darken in more of those lines that we want to keep in the drawing put some shadow under his hood and now time for the rendering on his mask so his mask isn't just some flat piece you do want to give it some kind of shine and shadows much like uh, Batman's you know cow same for Oliver on the parts that are closer to us like the raised sections of his um, mask the curved sections you want to show the highlights and this is the part that I enjoy about the drawing you can put in a lot of shadows and in-depth detail these things really make the drawing pop out I'm gonna put more shading under his hood and now on the back side well the side of his hood put more some shadow down there and since he's under the hood we're gonna go ahead and put his whole face in shadow it gives him more of that uh, menacing kind of look give him a drop shadow under his nose makes it seem a little bit more real and then lightly just put in some lighter shadows 
for his face darken in and put some shadow on his goatee you don't want to color it in too much because he has blonde hair so we treat that very light and with anything that's white or a light value you give it shadow kind of a grayish tone or the tone of gray a light gray and put some more shadow down here on his goatee remember not too much shadow because you do want you do want it to have the illusion that uh, it is blonde and now some more shading with his face because he's covered under the hood I really wasn't crazy about the hood name that they gave him in season one so what did you guys think about it did you like that I wasn't feeling that too much and we're gonna go ahead and come down to his uniform now and kind of put in some big shadow like his whole face kind of shadows over his chest area this is a and drop in more of his uh, detail on his shoulders just quickly just sketch something in there nothing too detailed at all I'm really going further than I anticipated with this drawing so it's become more than a headshot now going to my Copic multi-liner the 0.3 size I want to go ahead and accentuate the uh, intensity around his eye area I'm gonna do it for both eyes and we're gonna go around his mask a little bit more and don't um, completely connect all the lines in your drawing sometimes it's good to make the drawings um, just kind of irregular not like a coloring book where all the lines have to be connected this uh, allows you to just make the drawing look more interesting so make sure that everything isn't connected especially around the eye area or the nose area leave some holes in between and leave the rest up to the imagination as they say gonna quickly render out some of his arrows and his quiver here and using my presto whiteout gel pen I'm gonna put in some highlights on the feathers and time for some highlights on his mask uh, I'm gonna white out just some generic areas around his figure put a rim nice rim lighting around him and remember if you want more of this cool stuff head on over to patreon.com slash cartoon block deuces